In the heart of North America, a new predator is quietly carving out its place in the wild and even in our backyards. The koi wolf, a fascinating hybrid of coyote, wolf and domestic dog, is emerging as a contender for dominance in ecosystems across the continent. As traditional predators like wolves and cougars face ongoing challenges, koi wolves are thriving, expanding their range into both rural and urban areas. And what sets them apart? And could they truly rise to become North America's next major predator? The koi wolf story begins with human disruption of the natural world. As European settlers expanded across North America, they fragmented the wilderness, driving wolf populations to the brink of extinction in many areas. Coyotes, which were traditionally confined to the western US, began to spread eastward in response to this ecological upheaval. In the early 20th century, in the forests of northeastern North America, these two species encountered each other and began to interbreed. Adding to the mix, domestic dogs also contributed genes, further diversifying the genetic pool. This process of hybridization created the koi wolf, an animal with a genetic makeup that is roughly 60% coyote, 25% wolf, and 15% domestic dog. While hybrids in nature often face disadvantages, the koi wolf is a striking exception. Through a phenomenon called hybrid vigor, this new predator inherited some of the best traits from each of its ancestors. From the coyote, it gained adaptability and a resourceful nature. From the wolf, it inherited strength, pack behavior, and hunting efficiency. Finally, the domestic dog's contribution added a degree of boldness and flexibility, enabling koi wolves to thrive in environments that might challenge their purebred relatives. This evolutionary process isn't merely a historical footnote, it's ongoing. As koi wolves continue to interbreed with coyotes, wolves and dogs, their population remains genetically dynamic, adapting to the pressures of their environment in real time. Koi wolves are larger and more robust than coyotes, but smaller and more agile than wolves, making them a unique presence in the North American predator lineup. They typically weigh between 20 and 50 pounds, with some individuals exceeding this range. Their appearance is striking, with long legs, a bushy tail, and a strong, muscular build. What truly sets koi wolves apart is their behavior. Unlike solitary coyotes, koi wolves often form small packs, allowing them to hunt larger prey such as deer. This social structure is more reminiscent of wolves, giving them a tactical advantage in the wild. However, koi wolves retain the cunning and opportunism of their coyote ancestors, enabling them to exploit a wide range of food sources. Their diet is highly varied, reflecting their adaptability. In rural areas, they prey on deer, rabbits, and ground-nesting birds. In suburban and urban settings, they shift to smaller mammals, such as squirrels and rodents, and even scavenge for human food scraps. The dietary flexibility is one of the keys to their success in environments where other predators might struggle. Their vocalizations also hint at their hybrid nature. Koi wolves are known for their eerie howls, which combine the high-pitched yips of coyotes with the deep, resonant howls of wolves. This vocal adaptability helps them communicate effectively within their packs and maintain territorial boundaries. Koi wolves are masters of adaptation, a trait that has allowed them to expand their range rapidly across North America. While wolves are often restricted to large, undisturbed territories, and coyotes tend to avoid densely populated areas, koi wolves have managed to thrive in both wild and urban landscapes. In cities like Toronto, New York, and Boston, koi wolves have learned to navigate highways, use parks and green spaces as corridors, and exploit human-altered environments for food. They are primarily nocturnal, reducing the risk of encounters with people. In many cases, urban residents are unaware of the koi wolves living in their midst until the sightings or news stories bring them to light. Their ability to exploit human environments doesn't mean they've lost their wild instincts. In rural and wilderness areas, koi wolves display the hunting prowess of wolves, preying on deer and other large animals. To determine whether koi wolves could rise to the level of a major predator, we need to consider their ecological role. 
In many parts of their range, koi wolves are already acting as apex predators, particularly in areas where wolves and cougars have been extirpated. By preying on deer, rodents and other species, koi wolves help regulate prey populations, preventing overgrazing and maintaining ecosystem balance. Their physical traits and social behaviors also position them as effective predators. Their pack hunting tendencies enable them to take down prey that would be challenging for a lone coyote. At the same time, their smaller size and greater agility compared to wolves make them better suited to environments with fragmented habitats, such as suburban and urban areas. However, koi wolves face limitations. They are not as large or powerful as wolves, which may restrict their ability to hunt very large prey, such as moose. Additionally, their reliance on urban and suburban environments could constrain their ability to expand into more remote wilderness areas where traditional apex predators thrive. Despite their adaptability, koi wolves face numerous challenges. Human activity remains a significant threat, from habitat destruction to roadkill. In urban areas where koi wolves often rely on scavenging, conflicts with humans can arise, particularly when they target pets or livestock. Negative encounters can lead to increased calls for culling or stricter wildlife management policies. Another potential threat is genetic dilution. As koi wolves continue to interbreed with coyotes, wolves and domestic dogs, their unique genetic makeup could become less distinct over time. This raises questions about their long-term evolutionary trajectory and whether they will remain a distinct hybrid or blend back into their parent species. Public perception is another critical factor. While some people view koi wolves as fascinating symbols of nature's adaptability, others see them as pests or threats. Shaping public attitudes toward koi wolves will play a major role in determining their future. Koi wolves are already making significant ecological contributions. By preying on overabundant species like deer, they help reduce overgrazing, which can have cascading benefits for ecosystems. Their presence also influences the behavior of smaller prey animals, creating a landscape of fear that can reshape ecosystems in positive ways. However, their rise also has potential drawbacks. Koi wolves may compete with native predators such as foxes, bobcats, and even smaller carnivores like raccoons, potentially displacing these species. This could disrupt existing food webs and alter the dynamics of local ecosystems. Additionally, their predation on smaller mammals and birds in urban areas raised concerns about potential impacts on biodiversity. Balancing their ecological benefits and drawbacks will require careful management and further research. What does the future hold for the koi wolf? As urbanization and climate change continue to reshape North America, the traits that make koi wolves successful today may become even more valuable. Their ability to adapt to fragmented habitats, exploit diverse food sources, and navigate human environments positions them as one of the continent's most resilient predators. In the long term, it's possible that koi wolves could evolve into a fully distinct species, further separating themselves from their coyote and wolf ancestors. However, this outcome will depend on how humans choose to manage their populations and habitats. Policies that promote coexistence, such as habitat preservation and public education, will be crucial in ensuring their survival. So, could the koi wolf become North America's next major predator? The evidence suggests they have the traits, adaptability and resilience to claim that title. They are already filling important ecological roles and expanding into new territories, proving their ability to thrive in a rapidly changing world. However, their future as a dominant predator will depend on their ability to navigate challenges, both ecological and human-made. What do you think? Are koi wolves the predators of the future, or will their hybrid nature limit potential? Let me know in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.